All right, we're back here with a lead medic patrol at night. So we are looking at the map to see what it's called at, and we are going to get over there, Code Three. So let's go ahead and get over there, Code Three, and see what's going on with with the people and everyone. Hopefully, everyone's okay, but we will see once we get over there. So we have arrived on scene. So let's get our medic bag and go over to this guy and see what's going on with him. Hopefully we can save him. Not the major. Alright, just going to do a quick inspection of the body here to make sure everything is good. And it will also tell us what needs to be looked at if anything is not good. So we're just going to go ahead and check him out and see. And, um, all right. So it said put a net call on him. So we put a net call on him and we are going to call an ambulance unit to pick him up. Cause you know we are done here, so we are going to go to the next car that comes in. All right, we're arriving on scene to the next call for a motor collision accident. So we're going to park in front of what is supposed to be the tow truck, but it is. Fading out. I do apologize for that texture loss, but anyway, we are going to go ahead and get our medic bag and get over here. No, that's not a tow truck. That's another vehicle. I can't figure out what it is, but it don't matter. Let's go ahead to this guy and see what's going on with him. I was saying there's anybody with it, but just him. So of course, you know, we're going to go ahead and inspect him. So this is his head. Um left arm right arm I want to say this is torso no body this should be the left leg and the right leg so we are going to remove his clothes and now we're going to perform CPR one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four alrighty so we we're not sure if he's breathing or anything so we're gonna get the deliberator uh, get that all hooked up on him sticky pad and everything and then shock him if we had to hopefully we don't have to so let's go and get these ECG leads on him one right there, one right there, one right there. All right, he is showing flatline. So let's put the shock pads on him. One right there and one right there. All right, clear shock. Boom, he is back as you can see. So we're going to remove all this and go back to the truck and get the fracture kit instead all right so we're going to put the it's got a fracture arm so we're going to put that on there we'll go ahead and put this back in the trunk and after we put it back in the trunk we're going to go get our medical bag off the ground so this is our medical bag. We're picking it up. All right. We're going to put his clothes back on him and we're going to call him transport. Now we're going to make our way to the next call that uh, comes into our radio. Alrighty, we are here at the next one. We have a motor vehicle accident on the side of the highway. And I really hate this highway. So let's go get some traffic cones out and try to block people from 
hit my car because I know someone's gonna hit my car. All right, I can't go that far. I'm pretty sure I can put it right here, right here, right here, and right there. Boom. All right, now I feel a little safer. Get the medic bag out, and we got the paramedic over here waiting for us. That's that's Simon. That's Simon. So we're going to inspect her. See what. So we're inspecting her and seeing which which part of her body is injured from this accident. I think she hit the guard rail, but I could be wrong. But we're definitely gonna get it checked out, and hopefully it's not that major. Okay, so she just needs a neck collar. All right, and we gotta pick the bag up, and now we're gonna go ahead and call her transportation to get her over to the hospital. Uh, right dispatch, you can show me ten four. Clear for that call, and um, I'm pretty much gonna put my bag back, pick up the cones, and go to the next call. All right, so we are taking one of the escape convict calls, and that's that's the reason right there is why I put the cones up, cause I knew someone was gonna hit me. I just knew it. But anyway, we're gonna get over to this escape convict call. If I can get my car and this person stops ramming me. Alright, so that's on the other side of the map. But we're gonna make our way over there. So sit back and I'll be back once I get there. Alrighty, we're making our way upon the escape convict scene. We are going to help whoever is injured and get them transported to the hospital. So let's get on medic bag and walk over here. We have a male, a female on the ground. Alright. Just inspecting her right now. Uh, looks like we're not getting no pulse. So that is not a good thing. We definitely want to get a pulse. All right, so let's remove her clothes and try CPR. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so we are going to get the deliberator out. And See we can use that to get her back. Get her back. So we got everything on her. And we are going to go ahead and shock her. Oh man, hope we didn't lose her. A shocker, see what happens. Alright, we uh. <sighs> I don't want to say we lost her. But let's get the meta bag and try CPR again. One, two, three, four. Five, six. All right. Let's see if um if she came back. Yep, she's good. So we're gonna go ahead and remove all this. Put the deliver the liberator back, and get the fresh kit on her for her leg here and put that back in the trunk you know so let's call her transport once we dress it we don't want to say that it need that would look right we, got, might have to, we, might, we don't want to have to do paperwork for a charge Uh, 
Alrighty, so we are going to get out of here. Alright, I apologize. We left the scene and forgot about the police officer. So let's go ahead and inspect him. Make sure he's good. And then we can say we're done and we're out of here. So sorry about that, guys. But we're going to get him checked out. Make sure he's all good to go. Can't leave him. Um, Alright, so we're going to get him all checked out. Make sure he's good to go. No teammates left behind is my model, so let's get him transport. And once again, I do apologize because we were just about to roll out here and not even help him. But now we are officially cleared and can go to the next call that comes in. Which shouldn't be that long. Alright, we are on the scene of a person that is suffering from a gunshot wound. Um, I wonder if he was robbing a store, but we won't know. So let's go ahead and inspect him. See what the different dots. Based on what the different dots tell us, we would know how to treat him going forward and all of that good stuff. Alright, so we are going to get bandages. So we're going to go back to the bag, hit bandages, put it on his arm. And then we are going to request transportation. And after that, we should be code 4 and can take another call or can call it a day. So let's put that back in the trunk and wait for the next call to come through. Alright, we're going to end it here and catch you in the next medic video. Thanks for watching, guys.